Uh, hi, I'm Max from Big Teeth. Hi, I'm Adrian Lanku from Big Teeth. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today in this virtual way. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the album that changed my life, you will use them. Car Wheels on a Gravel Road, Lucinda Williams. Uh, and One Quiet Night, Pat Metheny. Uh, Night Train, Oscar Peterson Trio. Yeah, Night Train, yeah, the trio. I just remember listening to it on a bus to school or something, and it completely, like, engulfing me into another world, changing the chemistry in my body, and the feeling that you can press play and be teleported. It's a very strong thing, music, very physical thing, you know, so I felt it there very, very strongly. Yeah. I listen to One Quiet Night every single night going to sleep as a child. Like, I listen to that album like hundreds of times. And then car the I listen to Williams record, I just, it helped me through so much heartache. I would like be driving and just like crying singing, cry singing, you know? Yeah, yeah cry singing. Where it's like, oh fuck, I don't know, it just, it felt like that record was like very much there for me, like a friend. My dad Holy took crap. me in Tel Aviv, in Israel, where I'm from. My dad took me to Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> when I was 13, cool. he said like, you want to check out the band? Come, I'll show you something. <clears throat> and we both, we both lost our hearing <laughs> for like two weeks. He says that he can still hear less from that night. But it was so inspiring. So I remember that, yeah. I think mine was a Prince concert. Wow. Prince in Minneapolis, the Target Center, when I was like... Oh, you sound live, wow. Yeah. I think that my... I think I was like 13 or something. Or something like that. Yeah, I was like... Matrix and uh, oh, now you go. Maybe. Um, for me, Big Le the Big Lebowski <laughs> was something that's really like I can keep watching it and watching it again. It's like a cult movie. A lot of people, you know, it's not just a movie. For, but yeah, the where where when I saw it and where I saw it and how it affected me and my friends. And, so it's always just like this mantra, you know. I don't know what it, what it's uh, what it deeply. Yeah, there's something about it that I can watch every second and just love it. So, mm -hmm. so that's a film I remember. But there's many films. So. Yeah, that's just the. Yeah, there's, there's many. I can't think right many, now. Yeah. <laughs> so I just said The Matrix because like I love that movie. Yeah, me too. Okay, yeah, you're I love the Big Yeah there's, yeah, there's a jazz club in Tel Aviv called Jazz Kisa. Kisa, like K-I-S-S-A. And it's new, it's only a few months old. And uh, there's no noise curfew, so you can keep playing jazz. And I play jazz also. So when you can, you can keep playing until 3 a.m., you know? And uh, many places, because jazz was kind of indoctrinated into like status or something that's like it, so you hear it in an elevator you know and people think that's jazz what they hear in the elevator but jazz really is a lot like rock and roll it represents freedom and it comes from the streets and from stories and hardship and uh and chaos not not properness or status you know so that's a place that's really cool to be in because there's no noise screw for you and people just play and whatever yeah so i really love that place uh, well, there's this place, the, the Southern Theater in Minneapolis, that has this thing every midnight called Balls Cabaret. I don't know if it's still going on, but I would go there my whole childhood, uh, well, like from when I was 12, and play. And there's no alcohol. Uh, it's a theater, 
and it starts at midnight and it goes from midnight to 2 a.m. and anyone can do anything for seven minutes except for no weapons and no hurting people. That's like the only rule. Oh, so like, wow. I'm 12 years old playing my songs then this guy gets up and does some like crazy stand-up comedy then someone comes and does like dancing and Leslie Ball so cool. was this woman who would like she would run the whole show and she would come out in between each act and she had this long flowy dress and this long hair and this guy Ocean ran the lights and the music so he'd bring the lights down turn up the music wow. and then like Leslie comes out in it and and just would be like like introduce the next act yeah. she would always dance for a second then the lights would come up introduce the next act then the next act comes out and it was the it was everything from like the most heartfelt beautiful stuff to like the most uncomfortable offensive offensive yeah, yeah. thing of just like a guy being like I'll tell you what's up you know just yeah, like yeah yeah it's uh, and so I remember being a kid up. and having to watch all of it like watching it all and just seeing people express themselves I don't know if it's still happening but Southern Theater that was that was cool I like to see John Coltrane playing music in front of me. Just like to be in the room with that, you know. To to be in the room with that energy, I think that would be very strong. I think I'd like to go back to when they were like building pyramids. Oh yeah. But I'd also just like to zoom out of time altogether. Because I don't really think it's like linear, so I would like to actually just zoom out and just like see what's going on but yeah i don't i don't know yeah but i think i think if i had to choose like that like in a linear way pyramids. i'm very interested to see what how they built the pyramids the pyramids yeah. i want to know oh music what also i think that also like i want to know what music was there in the period yeah, yeah yeah you know what it like i want yeah. i'm interested in the like what like really yeah. old, what's going on right actually there. i want to change mine to also pyramids yeah i'd like to see <laughs> yeah right i think to the end uh, yeah maybe there because do you think that, i mean there might not be an end yeah there might not, but yeah. it'd be interesting to find out how like the setting on the time machine, how far it can go. But, yeah. I'm just <laughs> interested in like 800 years from now. Okay. Just like That's one day, just to see what happens, you know? 800. 800 years. Yeah. That's good. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I like and that. cut. And we're gonna leave. <laughs>